Assalamu alaikum. This is Amina Shah from Center for Global and Strategic Studies, Islamabad, and you are watching CJSS Forum. Today, I have just an honor to introduce you to the Ambassador of Romania to Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Nikolai Goya. I welcome you, sir, and thank you so much for joining us here today. Today, we will be discussing the bilateral and diplomatic relationship between Pakistan and Romania. So, my first question from His Excellency would be What is your stance on the bilateral relationship between Pakistan and Romania, and what mutual uh, cooperation we can uh, come uh, with in the near future? Well, when it comes to speaking about mutual uh, bilateral relations between Romania and Pakistan, we have to say that uh, ever since we established diplomatic relations back in 1964, there has been an ever-growing substance of yeah. the relations between our two countries. We have very good political relations. We have consultation with Pakistan in every possible yeah. issue of international uh, situation. We are having on uh, annual basis uh, political consultation at the level of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs mm -hmm. and the uh, um, her level of Director General of uh, Secretary of State. Yeah. We have uh, no any issue in terms of uh, analyzing the political, uh, uh, political situation of the world uh, during these days. We have, uh, as I said, good political relations. When it comes to economic relations, I'm still having some uh, reservation to say that we have very good uh, economic relations. Yeah. We still have to work very hard in order to improve the trade, in order to improve the cooperation between uh, our two countries. We had a good experience in Pakistan. We had a good history uh, during the 70s and 80s. We built in Pakistan mm -hmm. refineries, cement factories, uh, yeah. tractors, manufacturing lines, and so many projects. Mm -hmm. We have to restart the uh, cooperation in terms of building together with our Pakistan friends um, some uh, factories, some uh, projects of cooperation in in many uh, fields, because we do have an experience in working together. Pakistan is a friendly country, is yeah. our uh, partner. So I think I'm optimistic that in I'm rather optimistic that in few years we will reach the level of maybe half a billion dollars in terms of trade and uh, cooperation between our two countries. Yeah. Uh, as we know that uh, Pakistan is a pivotal member of uh, Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to um, uh, regenerate the old uh, Silk, Road, Silk Road between um, Europe and China. So what do you think that in what ways uh, Romania will be contributing in this arch of prosperity? Many times I stated that uh, CPEC is a very important project and Pakistan yeah. of course is a pivotal is a pivotal segment component of this uh, project yeah. made by China and Pakistan and aim to increase the level of interconnectivity in yeah. this region. And this is more important when you speak about the, these regions being the least interconnected region in the world. Yeah. So it's very much needed. But at the same time, we need to have more transparency. We, uh, and we need to have also uh, the confidence that this project is sustainable. For Romania and European Union, which are again all for interconnectivity, is a big chance, is an important chance to contribute, to be part of this project. But again, in the terms of uh, transparency, in the atmosphere of uh, transparency and sustainability. So I believe that Romania can be a part of it in engaging in some uh, subcontracts, in some projects, because we do have the expertise, we do have the experience, and we can do it. And again, CPEC is a very important project. Uh, as we know that Romania has been declared as one of the emerging economies in the European Union by International Monetary Fund. So uh, what do you think, what are the chances of the further strengthening of socio-economic uh, ties between these two countries, Pakistan and Romania? Not only Romania is an emerging country in terms of economic development. We are, yes, we are uh, declared, and we are, as yeah. a matter of fact, the fastest growing economy in European Union in three, three years in a row. Yeah. Pakistan is also a yeah. growing economy now and uh, both countries have a huge potential to develop the relations in uh, uh, economic terms yeah. and there are good prospects of uh, developing the relations between Romania and Pakistan. For that reason I uh, put very high on my agenda um, efforts of all the embassy staff, myself, in order to get the people together 
to make more people-to-people -people contacts, business-to-business uh, -business contacts between yeah. the two countries. And there is a huge potential which can be exploited and take, taken advantage of in the future. So I believe, I strongly believe, I'm very optimistic that the relations we developed in the yeah. years to come. Uh, as we know that a volume of trade determines uh, the potential and scope of bilateral relationships. What are the volume of trade and what steps must be initiated for the further strengthening of uh, economic integration and connectivity? Well, when, uh, when I was speaking about the volume of trade, I can uh, indicate that last year, we have the figures for last year, there are 100 millions, which, are, which is far less than the mm -hmm. potential of the two countries. I think the first step to be taken is to make Pakistan better known mm -hmm. in Romania okay. and Romania better known in Pakistan because there is a deficit of reception in both sides about the situation in Pakistan, in Romania, and Romania as an emerging economy in the European Union in Pakistan. Yeah. So if we increase the number of the people-to-people -people contacts, the business-to-business -business contact, we will uh, have more knowledge about the potential of the two countries. Mm -hmm. And taking from that, that point, from this point, yeah. I think there are a lot of opportunities and chances and uh, possibilities to yeah. develop the relations. Okay. Your Excellency, take into account of your diplomatic uh, experience in the Middle East particularly, I want to ask that, what, what do you think the specific uh, security challenge uh, that Pakistan is confronting with? Well, uh, let me say first that the security situation in Pakistan has improved tremendously mm -hmm. uh, in the couple of years I've been spending here. Speaking about the security situation in Pakistan now, comparing as compared to the 2013, for instance, is a tremendous improvement. Mm -hmm. The situation uh, with, the, with the efforts of the Pakistani army, the Pakistani government, yeah. there have been uh, um, an improvement of uh, fighting uh, terrorist organizations in, inside Pakistan. Yeah. And I think to a high extent, the situation has been calmed down. Mm -hmm. but Again, the terrorism is an, the cancer of our days, and the terrorism can be fought only in cooperation with all the stakeholders in the process. So there is a lot of need for cooperation of Pakistan with the other um, actors involved in this process, and um, uh, especially in a region like uh, the Pakistan is situated in, which yeah. is a region of a lot of challenges. With we have uh, conflicts in the immediate vicinity of Pakistan. We have political and military and security instability in some of the countries. We have uh, many uh, non-statal actors act acting in this uh, region, yeah. and I'm speaking about in, in terrorist organization. Uh -huh. And I think that is, this is an, not an impossible mission, but it's a very difficult mission. And I believe, I really believe in the determination and the, the and the power of Pakistan yeah. to cooperate with all the actors, sincerely cooperate with all the actors involved, and to fight very decisively against terrorism. I'm optimistic that terrorism can be fought very uh, fruitfully. Yeah. And uh, I notice that the new government of Mr. Imran Khan is very determined yeah. to take all the measures in confronting Tourism. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us here again. I hope our interaction went well. And dear viewers, thank you so much for watching us. Until next time, have a good day. Love is.